What's up guys, I'm Midsofting and I'm back with another YouTube video. It's been two months since Outriders released and I just thought I would quickly go over some of the changes and things that have happened since release and uh, where I think the trajectory of this game is kind of going from here. So when the game launched, there was plenty of bugs, there's plenty of issues mainly caused by the servers and the lack of dedicated servers which they've made the conscious decision to not put into the game and i don't think that anything about that will ever be done so all of the issues as far as desync joining your friends disconnects all that stuff i do not believe that will ever be solved in outriders because i do not think they are going to get dedicated servers at any time i don't think there's a chance of that happening so let's just get that out of the way as the first set of issues then let's step on to, we just got a recent update. It supposedly fixed some server stability, some crashing, uh, some uh, other things with the game, as well as it prevented people from getting kicked at the end of Expeditions. This is a very welcome update because getting kicked at the Expeditions was a huge problem, especially for people like Devastators. But what problems do we still have that are still being overlooked? It took us about a month to get armor fixes, and the armor fixes were mostly due to the Broodmothers being nerfed. We're still dealing with alphas being able to jump 10 miles and basically two piece you, uh, which doesn't happen as often because of the health fix, uh, but it's still an issue sometimes. It's not as bad though, you can survive CT15s. But what we really need is Lego buffs, we need a new system for getting legendaries, uh, we need legendaries to be more useful. I've had I've played Technomancer for over 300 hours, uh, I've had every legendary in the game multiple times. Most of the legendaries suck. Most legendaries are completely useless and there's no reason to use them. We need legendaries to give us more usefulness, especially on a character like Techno. Obviously Pyro, you want the Akari. Devastator, you want the Seismic. All that stuff because those are good. But there's a lot of weapon mods, a lot of weapons that are legendary, and a lot of gear that are completely useless and, and go completely unused. We need build diversity. We need things implemented into this game to make it so we can play the game any way we want. If I want to make a Hammer of Thor character and punch people in the face and do a ton of lightning damage, I should be able to do it. Why not? But instead, no matter which character I pick, I have to look up the new best build on YouTube, find it, and that's the only one that's going to be useful because that's the only way you're going to be able to get gold on CT15s. Unfortunately, and that's the only end game piece of content that we have left to play. So if you don't build it the way that you need to build it, that's it. That's the beginning of end of it. So that's the main thing that we need fixed right now is legendaries and buffing pretty much all of them in the game would fix a lot of problems and make it so a lot more different builds and characters are a lot more useful and it would just increase the fun for a lot of people. I can't tell you how many people come into my stream where I'm doing carries and are playing as a trickster and they can't get the Ugaki cow. You, this thing is nowhere to be found. I'm not even sure it exists. I know like 15 people that have every single item in the game and they can't get this this ugaki cow it doesn't even exist like how, how can you not get it I've, I've met like two people total that have it and and everyone else can't get it it's insane like why is it so rare but we get cannonball gear every single run it doesn't make sense every single legendary should have the same exact chance of dropping i know this doesn't have a lot to do with the update but this is something that's really impacting the game it's driving new players away and it's even going to start driving away veteran players i know people that have hundreds of hours into the game that are already dropping it because they couldn't get it a specific item that would buff their build and make it the best that it can be and it's really ruining the experience for a lot of people so i know they're talking about re doing legendaries they've already mentioned it in a video and a few things that they've said on reddit but i don't know what they're going to do with them but i really hope that it's reworking them completely making them more useful giving us an 100 percent chance at at least one legendary every time you run eye of the storm increasing the chance of getting a legendary at least one on ct15s and hopefully just making every character and build that we can come up with a lot more useful so that there's a lot more different ways to play the game instead of just one on each class i don't know if that's going to come i don't know if we're going to get what we want but i really hope so this is going to be the end of this video i just wanted to quickly update what i hope is happening next with the next update that's coming for outriders i really like this game i really like playing it but a lot of people are at their wits end with it and i don't want it to die but it is on the decline if you watch my previous video on youtube you'll see that um and that's all for today if you guys enjoyed this please give it a like consider subscribing to my channel and check me out on twitch every single day at twitch.tv slash midsofting have a fantastic day dude if you if you're just trying to go cheap all you need is some cheap fans you don't need anything crazy <coughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
liquid looks cool makes it sound cool when you say like yeah i got this sick pc with some liquid cooling system in it like you sound like a real cool guy but it really doesn't matter <laughs> i just have regular fans and i've never had an issue with my my pc heating up so i'm good was just running my debuff pyro popping enemies like popcorn Shoo! love to hear that beast mode that's awesome it's absolutely fantastic 